Hello, I am Lou Schenk from Schenk Farms and welcome. send a crew in and they will start uh, taking all the leaves and organic material off the top of the benches and uh, make sure they are clean enough to uh, basically start washing the tops. Uh, after that process is done, we'll uh, rake underneath every bench and uh, to make sure all the organics is cleaned up underneath the bench so there's nothing left before we uh, move on to the next process. Apply heavy detergents through the water system via an injector system or medicator. All water systems contain some contaminants and biofilms, especially the header tanks where dust and dirt can accumulate. Clean complete water system with Biosolve Plus, an alkaline detergent, at 1% or 1 liter Biosolve Plus per 100 liters of water. When minerals and hard water are their concern, use Biofoam, an acidic detergent, at 1% or 1 liter Biofoam per 100 liters of water. Thorough washing using a detergent prior to disinfecting is essential. The detergent facilitates the surface cleaning and removal of biofilm. In addition, it reduces the washing time and the volume of water required. Apply Biosolve Plus at 1% or 1 liter Biosolve Plus per 100 liters of water at low pressure on all surfaces including ceilings, walls, benches, fixed equipment and floors. After applying Biosolve Plus, let it soak for a minimum of 30 minutes, not allowing it to dry. Rinse with fresh water to remove soap and any organic material. Reintroduce any movable or portable equipment. Allow to fully dry before disinfecting. Basically the same process, uh, the trays are tapped off to get as much debris off them as they can, any of the soil and leaves. Uh, then the tray is put in uh, the machine itself. First compartment is the uh, tray wash solution. It's uh, applied to that. And after the next step would be the rinse cycle. And uh, the tray keeps moving along conveyor belts and then the Vircon is applied. Uh, they're allowed to basically drip off a bit before they're restacked on a skid for uh, later use. What we have is a shop vac at the entrance to our uh, corridor where our cart washer would be and they will pick off the easy stuff and vacuum off uh, to make a clean quick uh, cart and uh, at that point in time we'll be able to run our carts uh, through the cart washer uh, trying to make sure all the organics are off. that point it goes through a rinse cycle and then after that it will go through a Vircon cycle. Not allowing for a drying in between uh, is not enough time but at least uh, we're getting our Vircon on right away and letting it sit. So we'll go through and uh, wait for the benches to dry after doing the Biosolve uh, solution on them and the rinse and after so when the benches are dry, we'll again use a 1% solution of Vircon in a hydraulic sprayer and we'll just uh, again spray to basically glisten or just to get it enough wet just to make contact and at that point uh, all the 
whole greenhouse structure is sprayed with Burkon and uh, left to dry. Then we're all set and ready to start putting plants back in a clean greenhouse. When the greenhouse has been thoroughly cleaned and disinfected, all movable equipment should be returned. To disinfect inaccessible areas of the greenhouse that might have been overlooked, the house should be fogged. Fog Vercon diluted at 1% or 100 grams of Vercon per 10 liters of water at a rate of 1 liter of solution per 100 cubic meters. Fogging alone does not replace disinfection. Monitoring as well as insect control is important to the greenhouse setting. Place all sticky traps at an early stage to see if your plants are afflicted with insects. Place the traps as close to the plants as possible, either flat or as a cylinder. Yellow sticky traps attract every type of insect. Use the gridded traps to monitor and count insect populations. It is also suggested to use non-toxic, glue and biodegradable paper, which can be composted after use. Rats and mice are responsible for the spread of numerous diseases. Therefore, a rodent control program inside and outside is of primary importance to prevent infestations. Make all the necessary repairs around the buildings, plus all holes and burrows. Check the ventilation grills to prevent rodents and wild birds from entering the greenhouse. Keep the building's surroundings clean. Avoid weeds, bushes, and litter heaps. Use approved bait stations inside the greenhouse and every five to six meters outside. Check and replenish bait stations weekly or as required. We have uh, visitor control people have to come in through our office and we ask them to sign in and to tell us what their business is, who they want to see. We control who goes into the greenhouses. It's restricted. Only uh, very few people are allowed into the greenhouses at any particular time. If we're going to allow people into the greenhouses, we make sure they have clean clothes, wash their hands, and haven't been to another greenhouse prior to coming to our facility.